You're back. We did indeed, sir. I can't believe it. Not that I'm really surprised, but, well, maybe a little. You did it. I mean, we did it. Oh, I certainly will. Between our reinstatement on the board and the gain of this ship, we'll usher in a new age of prosperity for the people of Monarch. I'm right glad to hear it, Mr. Sanjar. Folks around here could use a good turn. And perhaps in time, I can use my position on the board to turn things around for the rest of Halcyon. You really mean that? That's the nicest... Celia, put that down in today's minutes. Already done, sir. Anyhow, thank you. And good luck to you. What can I do for you? Quite well, actually. It's astounding how much our quality of life has improved without Graham's lunatics breathing down our necks. Our residents are reporting increased productivity during their shifts and improved satisfaction in their leisure time. And since we're back in the board's good graces, we've got real growth prospects to look forward to. Captain, I hope you made the right decision by siding with MSI. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. I've just finished reading a report of your work on Monarch. 
The broadcasts have been silenced at last. Graham Bryant was a madman, a narcissist, and exceedingly dangerous. Colony is safer without him. And you broke it in alliance with the broker himself. Hiram Blythe is a valuable asset. Well done. Your work is exemplary. You've earned place in the chairman's inner circle. Congratulations are in order. Now we introduce you to the chairman clan. Turn your eyes to the screen. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis, so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, Take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. Guess monarch folk ain't the only ones fucked around here. That ain't exactly an uplifting thought. I know your face. Stellar Bay's most infamous hunter. How curious that you've thrown your lot in with the captain. Monarch may harbor delusions of independence, but make no mistake. You are a part of our colony. If we fall, Monarch falls with us. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. Thanks to your meddling, Edgewater is without power. Operations have ground to a halt. You've left us with a useless town draining our resources. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. I will hunt beasts until I'm out of ammunition, and then I'll fight a good long while after. But I am not about to mow down a crowd of innocent people. Then I suggest you find your courage, or pretend you're hunting beasts. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. I won't. You're better than this, Captain. You have to be. This 
this lady wants to kill my people, and you're you're just gonna help her? I'm glad you can keep control over your associates. Edgewater is beyond saving. We're going to have to erase the town, but we're going to do it systematically. You were in the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. Do you remember what you discovered there? There was an accident at the Emerald Vale geothermal plant many years ago. Auto mechanicals turned hostile and slaughtered the plant's workers. Tragic, really. In fact, Spacer's Choice manufactured the incident for an insurance claim. They outfitted their mechanicals with a termination protocol, which is exactly what we need. The insurance claim has been locked in committee for years, but the individual responsible for the accident was promoted for lateral thinking. I'm arranging for a delivery of mechanicals to Edgewater. These mechanicals have been equipped with the same termination protocol, which must be activated from a terminal in the plant. Once the mechanicals are finished cleaning out Edgewater, I'll need you to go in and clean out the mechanicals. Understand? One last thing. Spacer's Choice sent a team of soldiers to investigate your little misadventure in the geothermal plant. Tread lightly. Then don't tread lightly. Carve a path through them for all I care. Just take care of it. Report back to me when the job's done. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Sure thing, Captain. I'll be waiting back at the Unreliable if you need me. You know, I'd been assuming this entire stay on your ship thing isn't a permanent arrangement. Part of my contract? That said, you ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. Says a lot about the stability of your future. And to be honest, I'm about sick of sleeping on bar stools. So how's about this? 
You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours, and I'll keep shooting at the things you point at. Outstanding. What's up? Warning, intruders will be... Oh, it's you. We're now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. 